what is happening in our world, God's plan for you is still intact. Sure, people are going to speak negatively about you to discourage you. Misery loves company, so people that hate their own lives will try to make you hate yours. But that spirit is not from God. Proverbs 15 and 2 says, The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. So many today grow up in despair and less than ideal upbringings where they were abandoned, abused, and neglected. They imagine God the same way and fear that he has abandoned them as well because of their constant failure and error. Well, let me assure you that God is not a man. He is not a negligent father. He is not a promise breaker. What God promised he will do and he promised that he would always be there. Hebrews 13 and 5, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. God is forgiving, loving, and excited to see you do well. God hates when you fail, so he is always there to make things right for you. Just like Adam and Eve in the garden, God is here to clothe you so you do not have to be ashamed. Temporal era cannot change the plan of an eternal God. He knew your end and your beginning at the same time. God's plan is always built in eternity and cannot be altered by time. Nothing you have done surprised him and nothing you have done has ruined your chances. His love covers a multitude of error. Just turn from sin and repent. God is not looking to punish you, but rather to delight in you. So make it right with him and rejoice in his mercy. Psalms 31 and 7, I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. Even in your darkest hour and your greatest failure, God is there. All he desires is repentance and you turning from sin. You are not too far gone for God to save you. In the Bible, there are so many examples of God's chosen vessels failing and overcoming their own failures with God's help. This is why it's so important for you to read the word instead of listening to those that are discouraging you. Repent and turn to God. Read his word and be built up on his most holy faith. Be filled with the spirit of God and walk in his way. If you fail, try again. If you fall, get up. If you are discouraged, let the word encourage you. Place yourself under sound teaching and good fellowship. Let God change things for you. His plan is intact and his desire for you will not go away. You will make it with God on your side. Thank you.